your name tonight, private. Answer to your name. Come and report for duty. You are a citizen. You are a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Come on. Yes, I see you all. Yes. 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 I see you. I see you all. And I release the vow upon you. And he says to remind you. The Spirit. The Holy Spirit of the Lord God is upon you. Because the Lord has anointed you to preach. He's anointed you to teach. He's anointed you to prophesy. He's anointed you to heal. He's anointed you to interpret, to encourage. He's anointed you to build up the kingdom of God. He's anointed you to encourage your brothers. He said, come forth, report for duty. The spirit of the Lord is upon you. Yes. And remember, he has sent you to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty. Come on, soldiers, straighten up them shoulders. You are under inspection tonight. Come on, get those feet together, hands firm. Hold on to your sword. Clutch your hands so that your sword don't shatter. I know some of us have been weakened from the battle, but stand and stand firm. Stand in the Lord and in the power of his might. Stand up. Hallelujah. You have been sent forth to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Hey, to give unto them beauty for ashes. Yes, soldier. They are waiting. Nations are waiting. To hear the good news. To hear your testimony. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. To see the power of God. Manifested and activated in your lives. Yes. 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 To give the oil of joy. For mourning. The garment of praise. For the spirit of heaviness. That they too might be called trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified i want you to see yes 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 and run run my brothers and sisters run back into the battle run back yes and crying in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i am back i won't quit i will not I will not give up. I stand to fight. To fight, fight, fight. With all my might. With all my heart. With all that's in me. Because to die. Is gain. Lord. We give our hearts to you. And we rededicate our lives. And we thank you that there is still grace here. Grace mingled with the judgment to rise up the feeble knees that the weak tonight say, I am strong in the Lord. Yes, 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 let there rise forth such a shout to heaven that the gates of hell shall rattle and tremble in fear because they that was once dead, they that was once trampled underfoot, 
have risen up and they have soaring yes we are soaring we have risen up as eagles hey hallelujah jesus and we have the enemy in our sights come on archers <laughs> come on <laughs> oh yes 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 archers <laughs> oh yes the horsemen and the chariots of fire oh yes the hounds of heaven await oh look there is michael and the archangels yes all of heaven tonight stands to do war let us run 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 as david ran swing 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 oh goliath you got to come down tonight yes yes he's fallen but don't leave yet get that sword the sword of truth oh come on lift it up use both hands mm -hmm. and swing come on take the bone with the neck yes cut the head off that serpent and say I shall not die. Come on, raise up that bloody sword in one hand and the head of Goliath in the other and proclaim to the elements, speak to the east, the west, the north, and the south and say, I shall not die, but I shall live to declare the works of the Lord my God in the land of the living in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you have given us the victory. We, we stand. Yes, Lord. But we stand because you said in our weakness we are strong yes Lord so tonight we stand and we bow down before you majesty and we say in one accord and with one voice thank you for loving me, O oh, Most High. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Brother Shannon. Yes, ma'am. Can we take, um, if you guys want to share anything after you do, can we take a, a slight break and can you play that song for me that I sent you the link, please? Absolutely. Uh, do you want, uh, Pastor Raphael, do you have anything you want to share at this time? No, let's just keep going with the flow of the Holy Spirit. I believe the Lord is doing mighty work tonight. I think it's a powerful word. And uh, let's just flow with the Holy Spirit. If the Lord gave her a song, uh, let's just worship the Lord. And, uh, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. amen. All Hallelujah. right, we're going to go to a song. Hallelujah. Beautiful song. Hallelujah. We're live right now with Evangelist Lena Nita and Pastor Rafael Candido. Lena, let me give it back to you and Rafael. Amen. Thank you, Brother Shannon. And I thank everyone that's out there. 
you know, um, this message I know, as the Lord spoke unto John and he says, eat, eat the scroll, sweet in thy mouth and bitter in thy belly. I know it's something that you would love to really throw up, but please don't. Let it go through and work its perfection in you and clean us up. You know, God has not forgiven us because there is hope and grace tonight. Not just for the target who have been in the sights of the enemy, but also for the mole. Yes. For Belladonna Nightshade. There is a hope for you to repent. And for the Scorpion leader, there is hope for you. Repent. Because God so loved the world, He doesn't want us to die, to perish. He knows we're just pawns in the hands of the enemy. And that is why he says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. But he says, remember, there is power in the blood of Jesus. So much power. Because remember, Saul of Tarsus, he was killing us. He was dragging us like dogs, dragging us off to jail. And he had in his hand a warrant. Yes, to go hunt us down like animals. And our God met him on the road to Damascus and revealed himself to him. You see, the enemy can poison our minds so much that we think we're doing good. Paul was a Pharisee who knew the law. See, and he was doing according to the, to the word of his God. But he didn't know our Jesus. He hadn't encountered him. No. He was not one of the original disciples. But God, yes, God sent Ananias. And you see, Ananias almost was bitten by the scorpion, almost swallowed the scorpion eggs because Ananias said, I've heard about what this man has done, what people are saying about this man, I heard. But the Lord shut the mouth of Ananias right there and said, this is my servant. Go to him. I am sending him to kings, to the Gentiles, to nations. Go to him. And he will have his sight back. You see, Belladonna, Nightshade, though she has eyes to see, she's looking through rose-colored glasses. And yes, the scorpion leader, like King Saul, like the Saul of Tarsus before he became Saul, because the other Pharisees feared Saul of Tarsus. There's grace. It's up to us whether we want to receive the grace tonight. We know what happened to King Saul. He chose the merciful death of suicide. His mercy. Saul of Tarsus chose the pathway of humility. You see, both for the scorpion leader and Belladonna Nightshade, it requires a humility of heart and to turn turn back to God, turn to be with and not against. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Pastor Raphael. Praise the Lord. And um, there was a scripture here that, uh, you know, jumped to me. And I just want to share with you guys. It's in the book of Acts, chapter 16. We already read it, but um, I believe the Lord was just showing me some things here. And uh, how many of us, how many of us right now are under attack, hurt, you know, going through a lot of pain, a lot of, through a lot of, just being abused by the devil, if you will, you know. And uh, here we have uh, Paul and Silas in the, uh, in the verse 25. You know, after they were beaten down, you know, they they were all messed up and they were thrown in prison. But at midnight, and the funny thing is that here on the eastern coast, east, east coast, right now is a midnight. And at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Now, you see, this man, both of them, men of God, they were there in the prison with a lot of pain, going through a lot of distress. Okay, Satan himself was after them. And they were praying and worshiped the Lord. Now, there's such a power when it comes to worship that we can never really understand. It. You know, through worship, I've seen heavens open. I've seen the power of God falling, people being healed, people being touched without the laying on of hands. Worship changes the atmosphere. You know, it brings the presence of God. It's, such, it's, it's something so amazing, so powerful that we cannot, we, we can't really understand it. There is power in worship. And they worshiped the Lord with all their heart. They didn't care about the pain. And they were praying. I believe they were coming, you know, into a spiritual warf warfare mode. And I believe that's what the Lord wants us to do tonight. I believe there's some of us that are struggling with those things. And the Lord wants us to fight. You're struggling. Are you under attack? Now it's time for you to fight. Uh, I was sharing with, this, uh, with somebody uh, this week that was also going through some spiritual attacks. And I... I told that person, I say, listen, the Lord wants you to start fighting. And that's the same way I am under attack. I believe uh, all of you guys are under attack. If you're a true child of God, the, the enemy is after us. And the Lord wants us to attack. You start going, uh, you know, against those principalities, those evil spirits. You start winning souls. He wants us to start, uh, you know, just doing the works of the kingdom. And now, as they were singing hymns and praying, and the prisoners were listening to them. You see, there are prisoners that those that are captive out there in the world, they are watching us. They listen to, to us. And we must be an example. We, we must fight for them. We must come into spiritual warfare for their lives. You know, I believe that's what the Lord wants us to do in this season that we're going, uh, that we're uh, living in right now. I believe the Lord wants us to start interceding, come against those, those issues. There are uh, making those people close to us in our circle prisoners, those that we know they're prisoners, those that we know that are, uh, you know, they're captive by the Satan and his demons. And the Lord wants to use us in this uh, in these last days to set the captives free. And then suddenly there was an earthquake, and that shook. He shook all the foundations of the of the prison, you know. And immediately all the doors were open. The Lord wants to set free. Those who are oppressed around your circle, he wants to use you, he wants to use me, he wants to use all of us. But it's time for us to stop being passive and start doing spiritual warfare. It's time for us to come into our prayer closet and start seeking God's face. And start worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth. Not only worship the Lord when, uh, you know, there's a lot of people I come from, the you know, the religious uh world and uh, there's a lot of people that go to churches and they start lifting up their hands and worship the lord and start crying but when they get home they're a different person they don't care about anything else and i believe the lord wants us to be real he wants us to do to be you know just to live in a state of worship you know i've seen uh worship change my life many 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 times especially when i i was under stress you know i remember there was a the death of someone uh, that uh, i used to love a lot when that person died that was time. It was a, this, the same day that that person died. It was a day that I was supposed to go preach, and I, I I didn't have the strength. I didn't have the strength. And then the Lord gave me a word for that night. 
he, the, the word that the Lord gave me was about entering into his gates with worship and thanksgiving. And then I preached the word and the Lord just moved powerfully. It was a beautiful, beautiful time with the Lord. You know, I wasn't stressed. I wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't prepared. But you know what? The power of God, the presence of God just moved and changed my atmosphere. It changed my, my circumstances. And I felt the joy, the peace of God, the shalom. The Lord touched people. It was a beautiful moment because we worship the Lord in the spirit and in truth. And the Lord is seeking those that worship in spirit and truth. A lot of people, they spend a lot of time reading the Bible, and that's not bad. But sometimes we forget about really just worship the Lord, give everything to Him, you know. Just have our own moment with the Lord. And then doing spiritual warfare as well. You know, pushing back the, the forces of Satan. So the Lord will do the mighty work on our lives. And those that are watching us. Those prisoners. They are, watch, they are always listening to us. Listening to us and watching us. That's what the Lord gave me tonight. And I just want to share that with you guys. <clears throat> Brother Shannon. Praise the Lord. Before we continue, I want um, Lena and Raphael for each of you to tell people about your ministries. Give out your website, your contact information, how they can support your ministries, and any announcements you would like to make, please. Who would like to go, go ahead. first? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> oh, th thank you, my brother. <laughs> God bless you all and thank you once again. This is Lena Nita and um, if you would like to reach me, you can call me on my cell phone which is 407-212-2523. You can reach me by email which is preachgospelww, P-R-E-A-C-H-G-O-S-P-E-L-W-W -W at AOL.com. Or you can reach me through my website, which is www.lenaelenita.com. Or you can um, friend me on Facebook or not friend at all. You could just reach me through message, um, you know, at uh, Evangelist Lena Don Nita. Or on Instagram, Preach Gospel WW. Or um, Twitter. Preach Gospel WW or on LinkedIn, which is Lena Nita. Thank you so much. Well, praise the Lord. My name is Rafael Candido, and uh, uh, my name is uh, Rafael Candido. And uh, we have here at uh, Orlando, Florida, we have a house church. Okay, and uh, we are, you can you may contact me through um, Facebook. I believe it's the easiest way. A lot of people, you know, they just add me and we have a nice conversation there, you know, friendship. And uh, my Skype name, if you want to reach me through, through Skype, we do deliverance, we do, you know, counseling, we pray. I've seen the Lord touch a lot of people. The Lord is just doing a mighty work like i never seen, Brother Shannon. Uh, I mean, I'm just in awe with the things that the Lord is doing. I've seen people that, uh, they're, you know, never... They never experienced the power of God, just being touched by the Lord you know, in a mighty way. I've seen souls coming to Christ. The Lord is just doing a beautiful thing here uh, at Orlando. And I just thank God for that. And He's so awesome. He's so good. He's preparing His people for the last days. And uh, I just I thank God. I thank God for the things I'm seeing. It's so beautiful. And uh, if you want to email me, uh, you may do so through uh, houseofshalomfl at gmail.com. Okay, and uh, like I say, my Skype name, uh, my Skype name is House of Shalom FL. You may add me, and uh, we love to to minister to you if you if you if you want to. We also have a f office number, and uh, which is four seven two zero one six two two seven. It's four seven two zero one six two two seven, and I uh, praise God for the opportunity to be here tonight. Uh, the Lord is just amazing. He's doing so many miracles and 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 signs of wonders lately. I've seen people just uh, come, you know, just they're being happy to to see the Lord using them. And and, and you know, you there's people that they never thought that they, would, they could be used by the Lord, and the Lord is just touching them and using them and equipping them. And I'm so happy about that. And uh, yes, the attacks has increased in a way that I never experienced before. 
But uh, you know what? As we continue praying and worship with the Lord, you know, coming uh, and fighting against those principalities, those powers the, of darkness, uh, the Lord just give us many uh, breakthroughs. And I just praise God for that. He's so awesome. I'm so happy to serve a big God like our God. Amen. 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 Brother Shannon. Yes, ma'am. Um, Brother Raphael is being a bit modest. W would it be okay if he speaks a little bit about his house church, just in case anyone wants to Absolutely. come there? Yes. Tell him the times that you meet, Brother. Um... Praise the Lord. Yes. Brother, uh, you, we, you are, we must we mention having... this because I would not have known about it if he hadn't. And there's probably other people that could be blessed if you would give us all the details on that. Praise the Lord. Yes. Uh, we have a house uh house church here in Orlando and uh, we are having uh, every once a week for now we're having a service on Sunday at 11 a.m. okay it's pretty close to the airport it's pretty easy to get here and uh, over here we just uh, we're doing deliverances last last uh, last week you know we had uh, someone that uh, we invited to come the person never never accepted Jesus Christ in their life you know and the Lord just, uh, when that person came here, the Lord, the power of God just touched that person. And, uh, you know, the demons were manifesting. Uh, it, it was on. It was on. And the Lord delivered the person, healed that person. That person had a, like a, uh, a, from an accident, had his shoulder uh, messed up. And the Lord touched him and healed that, that young man. And uh, now the Lord wants to touch his girlfriend as well. She wants to, you know. There's many things that the Lord is doing here with the younger generation, and I, I just praise God for that. We minister in Spanish and English. Uh, we uh, I'm from Brazil, but I also minister in Spanish and English, and I also minister in Portuguese. If anybody here is from Brazil, and I would like to you know to be minister in Portuguese, uh, you may contact me through my email or Facebook, and I would love to be a blessing to you guys. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, that is awesome. You know, we I just was contact, contacted recently um, asking if there was any deliverance ministries in the Orlando and Miami area. So this is fantastic. You know, um, Raphael and Lena, you may also want to consider joining the uh, International Spiritual Warfare Team of Dr. Jim Landry. I'll get you some information later. But basically, it's just a network of deliverance ministries across the country. And in doing so, they're going to put you on that map, and I heavily promote them. And when they go over to Florida, boom, they're going to see your ministries over there. So I just recently uh, joined them myself. I've known about them and worked with many of their people for a long time, but I just wanted to mention that to you while I was thinking about it. Um, if you were just tuning in tonight, welcome. We're live with Lena and Raphael. Would you all like to take a call or two tonight? I'm Praise the Lord. The We've got a caller waiting from area code 718. Let's go there. 718. Is this Juliet and Klaus from Columbia? Yes. 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 How are you? Okay. How are you? No. Hello there. Hello. Hello, Hello Klaus. How are you? Doing good. Where are you calling from tonight? You in Bogota? Uh, I'm in Cartagena. Okay. Um, Juliet, I can call long distance and it won't cost me anything. Um, have you been, is this on your uh, cell phone? Would you like me to hang up and call Cloud right back? Yes. Okay. No, because everybody's sleeping at Claudia's house, so this one came and ring again. Are you sure? That's okay. why I called before. And, no yeah. problem. Yeah. We'll, we'll roll with it. Uh, Thank so, you very much. Clow, <laughs> Thank you. who needs the prayer tonight, you or Clow? Clow. Okay. Raphael, do you want to talk to Clau? She speaks Spanish from Cartagena. Amen. Hi, Clau. How are you? In I'm Espanol, okay. she took care of us. I've just been listening to the whole program. Amen. How can we be a blessing to you tonight? Hello? Me escuchas? Okay. Um, sí. Habla español. Sí, hablo español. Si prefiere, yo puedo hablar español. Qué bueno. Qué bueno. 
Eh, bueno, es que, que estoy pidiendo oración porque, bueno, eh, mi salud ha sido, he, vi, he estado viviendo muchos ciclos en mi vida que son muy repetitivos. Pero, eh, okay. Ciclos eh, en, en el área financiera, eh, cojo un trabajo, eh, trabajo bien y de la noche a la mañana me quedo sin trabajo, sin ninguna explicación, sin ninguna razón. Okay, y da, a dame, en el dame aire. Un Permiso, dame un minuto para explicar en inglés para la gente. Ok, so she's asking for prayer, okay. for, uh, for health. She, she has some health issues and also that uh, she's struggling with the financial uh, issues as well. She's been losing jobs and things like that. Puede seguir. Ok, Puede... Y, y esto me ha llevado a tener mucho estrés y ataques de pánico. Y estos ataques de pánico han desencadenado problemas en mi salud especialmente en, la, en, en mi estómago. Me ha afectado el colon, el hígado, eh, la vesícula y me dan muchos mareos, náuseas. Y bueno, yo oro, eh, batallo, declaro la sangre de Cristo, me paro, eh, estoy bien y eh, en, en un tiempo, 15 días, vuelvo a recaer. Eh, y así he pasado el último año en, en esta situación constante, oh, son, son ciclos. Okay. Well, she's going through also through stress. Uh, she's going through uh, panic attacks, nausea. Uh, she has uh, some stomach problems, uh, you know, infirmity on her stomach area, you know, constantly. And uh, it's been, a, uh, you know, like a, a cycle in her life. Okay. Um, can I say something? Uh, these, these cycles came because she has been going through a lot of stress, and it's like emotional triggers. When when the situation come back, like for no reason, she's fired from her job, and or for no reason, it, it's attacked from people from the church. Um, they they raise comments that are not true, so she doesn't know how to handle that, and her body is reacting with panic attack through emotional mm -hmm. triggers. Yeah. Uh, is she is she married? Bueno, una cosa que me llamó mucho la atención. Yeah, she's married and has two kids. Okay. Yeah. Let me just speak in English. Una. Go ahead. Una de las cosas que me llamó mucho la atención esta noche es que la hermana estaba hablando de de la dona. Y a raíz de toda esta enfermedad, el médico me mandó a tomar una una, una medicina que se llama veladona me uh -huh. mandó a tomarlo que era para los ojos y me quedé así como sorprendida cuando ella estaba hablando de eso porque él me dijo que esa era una, una medicina que servía para los ojos porque los ojos se me, se me, se me cargan mucho por, por los problemas que me dan en el riñón y en el pueblo y me dijo que lo tomara para los ojos Ok. Ok. Bueno, eh, una preguntita para ti. ¿Desde cuándo empezó tu, tu problema de estrés y, y todas esas cosas? ¿Cuándo tú crees que empezó más o menos? ¿Hace cuánto? Mi, mi problema de estrés empezó a, a raíz de que me fui a vivir a España y allá en España me quedé sin trabajo. O sea, hace como unos uh -huh. cinco años más o menos. Ok. Eh, ¿Algo más pasó cuando tú estabas en España? ¿Algo de, 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 de algún problema eh, aparte de eso? ¿Emocional quizá? Eh, sí, muerte. mucho. Porque cuando, cuando llegué, llegué a España, eh, fue como Dios me llevó allá y, y estaba sola, no tenía amigos, no tenía familia, no tenía trabajo. Eh, no, no no había iglesia, no había quien predicara, o sea, era una, eh, o sea, viví momentos de muchísima soledad, eh, mi papá murió, no pude venir a, a, al entierro de mi papá, eh, bueno, cantidad de cosas. Que tu matrimonio también estaba en, 
tu matrimonio estaba en, en juego también. Cuando, sí, cuando me fui a España me fui muy ilusionada en, en restaurar mi matrimonio y cuando llegué allá me di cuenta que mi esposo me había sido infiel y bueno, nos tocó vivir un proceso de restauración okay. con, con, en, en nuestro matrimonio que, que bueno, Dios nos, nos, nos ayudó a salir de esa situación también. Okay. Pero en el área financiera siempre hemos estado afectados por todo eso. Ok, siempre, ok. Ok, so... Uh, uh, Everything started pretty much five years ago uh, when she was in Spain. And uh, in Spain, she she was struggling with loneliness, uh, you know, and other issues. Uh, at the same time, her father passed away and she could not come to the funeral. She had also marriage problems. You know, everything started five years. All those things happened five years ago. And after since then, uh, things are just getting worse. And uh, the fine... Uh, The financial issues has been all her life, pretty much. And uh, do you guys have anything you guys want to share, Brother Shannon or Sister Nella, uh, Lena? Um, I'm listening to her, and I feel her heart. And mm. to really do do um, if she's, you can translate back to her for me. Um, we will need to do something one on one with her. She's uh, right now, as I feel in my spirit, as Holy Spirit is telling me, um, you know, um, her focus has shifted to her finances as if that's the root yeah. because, the, you know, that's the most visible and it's the, the ones that feel she's really feeling. But tonight message is her. She's under attack. She's a target and she's being she's she's under a curse. Sí. So, uh, la mensaje. No. You, you translate to her? Hello? Yo entiendo, yo entiendo. No, go ahead, brother. Okay. Um, okay. She says she understands. She says she yeah. Okay. Um, so, mm -hmm. we want to let us pray for her. Um, as, uh, sis, what's happening tomorrow? What do you have? Um, what's happening tomorrow? I sense an urgency like there's something about tomorrow. Do you have a deadline or something to meet tomorrow? No. No deadline? No. No, no. No deadline. What did she say? I'm sorry. No deadline. No, no deadline. <laughs> no deadline for tomorrow. Um, because I'm sensing a great deal of stress as if the morning, or it could be when morning comes, you have to face everything. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Um, the, nighttime, the nighttime is a torment, but the morning brings forth um, the reality of her situation. And that's what I'm that, that's what I'm sensing. So to, in order to really um, do what needs to be done in our case right now is that let, you know, let us pray for her. But she needs to do a one on one with us. Um, and she says this went five years ago. Mm -mm. It began before that. Yeah. Just make things worse. Uh, yes. uh, hermana Clau. Sería bueno si nosotros sí. podemos eh, marcar algún algún día de, para hacer tu, eh, una, una oración entre nosotros más en privado y poder tener más tiempo de, 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 de ir despacito y, y tratar de sacar todas las cosas que, te, que en verdad espirituales que está trabajando en tu vida. ¿Está, está bien? ¿Podemos hacer eso? Sí, claro que sí. Claro sí. que sí. Y pero hoy, hoy vamos a orar por ti como quiera, al menos para ver si podemos sacar la, eso, eso estrés, eso pánico y eso miedo que tú tienes. ¿Está bien? Ok, perfecto. Okay. ¿Cómo te sientes ahora? ¿Cómo te, cómo, ¿Cómo te sientes hoy? No, eh, he estado mejor, pero aquí estoy con con una griera en el estómago y, y bueno a la expectativa de que a mañana amanezca mejor porque es algo que, que no te puedo duele. controlar no te, te, te sientes dolor o no? no 
tengo acidez. 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 Ok. Acidez. Y tengo el colon bastante inflamado. Ok. Y le dan muchos mareos y náuseas. Ok. Ok. Uh, Brother Shannon, you have, you have anything you want to share? No, sir. But I will come in agreement with you all in prayer tonight. If you all want to go ahead and pray for Clow tonight. Amen. Sister Anita? Yes, I come in agreement. Um, you know, as I... As the Holy Spirit had revealed, she needs, um, uh, she, she's in a delicate situation and her life hangs in the balance. And um, we don't want to, uh, how do you say, just slap something on. You know, we want to get to the root and, and help her begin to live because she's under attack. You know, she's under attack. But praise God that she's listening tonight. And, um, You know that we can help her. We will give her um, a, the, a prayer for strength to hold on, mm. and then mm. you know you and I work something out with. Um, yeah, know. she she already agreed with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's gonna come against uh, the infirmity. Yes. Uh, you know she has a believer. Her colon is a uh, swollen, and uh, and she's feeling a, a lot of nausea and things like that. So we're just gonna come against the infirmity. And uh, we're gonna. So I say the... something, my brother. Go ahead. Um, on the infirmity, um, that's where she, um, her colon. That's because she carries her stress in her body, and yeah. she's not. Um, how do you say? Her body is not expelling the refuse, so everything is inside, and that causes her colon to, to. Um, um, so we we have to pray that her colon release what it needs to release out of her body, because those toxins. Habasa kores, and I am not a doctor, you know. Um, I do come from a family of physicians, and um, a lot of times the Lord will speak to me in these ways. Um, I am, you know, I love science and I love the body, and this was my um, my course in school. Um, so. I'm getting the sense that that's where it's all in or not because she's, um, as we say, impacted on the inside. And so there, and I, I'm also seeing some like polyps. So she needs her, and she's not eating properly. Clow, you're not eating properly. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and you're not drinking water. Yeah, I saw it. Right. And, and you are, you, 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 your body is crying out. Yeah. to say stop i don't want i cannot handle this stress um so it's causing and you should have not only the swelling in your in your colon but you should have an, a protrusion i'm seeing you with a protrusion in your stomach that means you have a, mm -hmm. a stomach a belly a, a belly in the front but it's not normal amen no do, yes. do you understand okay yes i do Okay. Clau, eh, repite conmigo una, eh, una oración. Hay unas cosas que yo quiero que, que si tú puedas re repetir conmigo para cerrar algunas puertas. Ok. There are some doors that must be closed. Eh, una es falta de perdón. Si yo estoy seguro que algún día en tu vida alguien ya vino donde ti y te, te usó o te dijo cosas malas, feas, que, que lastimó a tu corazón, que, 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 que te tocó fuertemente. Quizás hasta tu esposo o tu papá antes de morir o alguien uh, te lastimó. Y eso es una puerta abierta. El Señor dice que si nosotros nos perdonamos a, a los hombres, a las personas, Él no va a perdonar a nosotros porque Él nos perdonó de nosotros de algo muy más grande do que qualquer outra pessoa pode ser contra a pessoa. E é perdão, não é para justificar o lo, lo que a pessoa fez, mas é perdão era para deixar a ti livre de, de problemas e, e enfermedades. Está bem? Então, somente, hay, tu, cre, tu crees que há algumas pessoas que tu necessita pedir perdão hoje? Amistades, primo, família... Si tú estás dispuesta a, a, a perdonar. Hello. Sí, claro. Sí, sí. sí. A veces uno piensa que ha perdonado, pero 
Sí. Entonces, yo he venido en ese proceso con, con mi amiga Juliet, que está perdonando <risa> constantemente todas las cosas yeah. que me hacen, las personas que me han herido y todo, porque sé que esa es una puerta que, que sí. uno abre y a través de ahí pues el enemigo, el enemigo okay. toma autoridad. Pues yo he venido en ese proceso de estar perdonando constantemente todo, ¿no? a todo el mundo. Y, sí, bueno, entonces esas personas, esas personas, si entrega al Señor. Abro una oración conmigo. Señor Dios, re Señor repite. Dios. Gracias por perdonar. A... Gracias por, por perdonar a mí. Gracias. Te pido ahora Gracias que tú... por perdonar. Te pido, Te pido ahora, ahora que perdone. Y ahora tú no tienes que decir el nombre de las personas, pero en su cabeza solamente perdona a todas las personas que te lastimó. Cualquier persona que te lastimó de una manera u otra. Y solamente tú no tienes que justificar, solamente entrega en la cruz. Entrega para el Señor y el Señor va a tomar cuenta de, de, de esa situación. Porque cuando tú te aguantas con eso, falta de perdón. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye. Oh, stand by. I've got her number right here, so we're okay. Mm. Praise Thank Jesus. You. Amen. The uh, switchboard just went down. It cut us off, but that's okay. I'm going to dial her right now. Okay. Oh, Brother Shannon. Brother yes, Shannon. Yes, ma'am. I believe the Holy Spirit is uh, leading you to another show. No, ma'am. I don't have another show after this one. No. I meant a uh, Spanish version. Oh, you know what? I was just praising the Lord that I realized today Brother Rafael can speak Spanish. Brother Rafael, mm -hmm. you kind of have a Costeña accent. I have uh, a Brazilian accent. Brazilian. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like I'm in Cartagena again. This is great. Praise the Lord. You know, I, I do everything for the kingdom of God. You know, I just want people to know Jesus Christ. And uh, I'll, I'll be a fool for them, you know. I don't care what language. You know, I actually had a vision one time, a very strong vision. In this vision, uh, there was martial law here in the, in the U.S. And... Uh, There were soldiers here with a blue helmet, and they were Chinese. And I actually went to one of them, and I was preaching Jesus Christ <laughs> to the Chinese soldier. And uh, it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. And I'm um, just uh, excited. You know, he's doing mighty, beautiful things. Praise and, uh, whatever I can use for the kingdom of God, you know. Everyone, I believe that every one of us have our own talents. <laughs> Tendrá cobro a partir de este momento. Keep talking. Let me check my number here. Well, I believe she has our information. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try it this way. Give me just a second. I was going to ask you where you're from. I figured Brazil or Colombia. I'm from Brazil. That's what, was, part of, what part yeah. of Brazil? Uh, Brasilia, the capital. That's awesome. Yeah. And then uh, my family came here. Back in 2000, 2002, and they'll be living here ever since. I moved to Puerto Rico. I met my wife, and then I uh, learned Spanish, and then English, and the, the Lord just so you just speak Portuguese too, right? I'm sorry. You speak Portuguese then also, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Clau. Hello. Yeah. Hola. Okay. Estamos aquí otra vez con Rafael y Lena. Rafael, sigue adelante. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Okay, Scooping me, Cloud, porque you have any problems with my telephone. Okay. No. I, I do speak English and I understand English, but it's easy yes. for me to communicate and explain my own language. Yes, yes. But what, we what we're going to do is... Uh, We're going to, uh, you know, just renounce some things in Spanish, and then when we, when time comes comes for us to minister to you, we can uh, minister in English, okay? Okay, okay. Amen. Okay. Entonces, como estaba diciendo, que cuando tú pides perdón, tú estás de, eh, tú estás entregando todo a Jesús y él toma cuenta de eso. Ahora, obviamente la hay muchas personas malas, eso no va a justificar lo que la persona hizo contigo, pero tú no estás aguantado 
com essa falta de perdão e tu não vai estar aguentando isso e isso porque isso o que te traz é problemas enfermedade muitas coisas que eu sei que tu não quer tu quer ser livre tu quer ser limpa tu quer ter uma liberdade que o Senhor Jesus Cristo nos deu a nós outros então uh, é por isso é perdão é tão importante para uma vida de um cristiano amém então toda a pessoa que vem em tua cabeça que o Espírito Santo é de Deus te enseñe, pide perdón en tu cabeza. Tú no tienes que decir el nombre, pero en tu corazón tú sabes. Y tú le entregas a esa persona a Jesús. Amén. Y me avise cuando acabe. Just give her a little time to think about some people that uh, she needs to forgive tonight. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Amém? Amém. Ok. E outra coisa que eu decretei, é, que eu, eu vi quando eu estava aqui falando contigo, foi algo muito importante. E nos momentos de, de tribulação, de problema, de, 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 que tudo era, parecia o fim do mundo para ti, Muchas palabras tú le dijiste contra ti mismo. Palabras negativas. Por ejemplo, yo nunca voy a prosperar. Yo siempre voy a ser miserable. Yo siempre voy a continuar así. Nadie me quiere. Yo no soy importante. Esas palabras afectaron mucho a, a tu vida. Está, y sigue afectando a tu vida eh, hoy en día. ¿Entiendes? Ahora... Necesito que tú hagas una oración conmigo para romper todas esas palabras, porque cada palabra de maldición, porque eso es una maldición, cualquier palabra negativa que tú hables contra ti mismo, esas palabras van a afectar en tu vida y el diablo la usa para, para como si fuera un contrato, para atormentar tu vida en, esa, en, la, en la área que tú eh, hablaste esa, esa maldición. ¿Hace sentido lo que estoy diciendo? Sí, claro. Ok, então, bom, repita comigo, Senhor. Senhor. Perdona-me. Perdona-me. Por, eh, por dizer palavras. Por dizer palavras. De maldição. De maldição. Contra mim mesmo. Contra mim mesmo. E contra outras pessoas. E contra outras pessoas. Eu confesso que isso é um pecado. Y también perdono a todas las personas que dijo cosas negativas contra mí. Maldiciones. Palabras de muerte. Yo lo perdono. Pero ahora en el nombre de Jesús Cristo, yo lo rompo todas las maldiciones de mi vida. Señor, perdóname por cualquier envolvimiento en el oculto. Falsa de religión. Espiritismo, Espiritismo. Santaría. Perdóname, Señor. Perdón. Yo confeso que he pecado. Yo confieso que pecado. Y ahora yo rompo. Y ahora yo rompo. Todo contrato. Todo contrato. Con el diablo y sus demonios. En el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Amen. Ok. Uh, ok, Clau, we're just gonna pray for you now. Is there anything else you guys want to add, brother, brother Shannon, Sister Lena? No, um, I think the rest I will um, take up yeah. with her when she's in personal. Um, I feel an intense akira sundare de seki abasandara sotundare basiki shukundare basia. 
Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Go ahead, my brother. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we lifted up the life of cloud before your throne, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, you see her struggles, O oh God. You, you see, Father, all the things that she's been, Father, fighting over the years, O oh God. You see, Father, the devil is being tormenting her, Father. Father, the devil is being a bully to her, Father. He's throwing her, Father, one to one side and to the other, Father. And right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, the, there's power in the name of Jesus. And Father, we come in agreement right now with our brothers and sisters in the chat room, Father, those that are listening to us, Brother Shannon and Sister Lana, we come in agreement, there's power in agreement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's it. There's power in the name of Jesus Christ. There's power in the name of Jesus. All of you out. Go, go, go. Loser, 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 loser right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear, anxiety, go, go, go in the name of Jesus. Go, fear, anxiety, go. Get out, get out, go. Move it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Loser, loser, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, you, you forward experience of torment. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Poverty, go in the name of Jesus. Stress, go. Infirmity, go. I curse you by the rule right now. I break your power in the name of Jesus. I cast you out by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Loser right now in the name of Jesus. Up and out they go. Up and out they go. Go. Come on up. Out, 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 out. Pa fuera in nombre de Jesus Christ. Pa fuera. Pa fuera. Out, 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 out. All the way out. Come on. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every torment, spirit. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go. Spirits of pain, get out of her body in the name of Jesus. Get out of her body, pain. Get out. Get out right now, you four wicked spirits. We break your power in the name of Jesus. Lose your grip and come out of her body. Lose her. Up and out. All the way out. All the way out. Get out of her belly right now, you four wicked spirits. Every spirit that is attached to her belly right now, I command in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth to get out of her body. Lose her in the name of Jesus. Lose her body. Come out. All the way out. Move it out. Move it out in the name of Jesus. Father, lose your worry angels right now, Lord, to camp around cloud right now and her family right now in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over cloud right now. And I command every evil spirit to continue coming out. Coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. Go right now. Go. 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 Go, spirit of shame. Go, shame. Go, shame. Go, depression. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out, depression. We break the power of the depression right now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of loneliness. Go. 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 Every spirit of hurt and pain, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go right now, spirit of grief. Go, spirit of grief. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. You that came when her father passed away, get out of her body in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of her body in the name of Jesus Christ. Up and out they go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. Go, persecution spirits. Go in the name of Jesus. Go. Competition. Get out of her body in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out. Get out right now. Confusion. Lose her mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Up and out they go. Up and out they go. Up and out they go. Up, out, 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 out they go. Come on in the name of Jesus Christ. All of you. All of you out. Go. Keep on going. Keep going. Come on. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every heaviness. Lose in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, heaviness. Go. Get out of her. Get out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. Go, nausea. I break the power of nausea right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Weakness. Go in the name of Jesus. Lose her. Up and out. Get out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. I break the power of that poverty curse out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. We break that yoke in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose her. Up and out. Go. Out. Out. Go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever she touched shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. We break the power of every weapon formed against her in the name of Jesus shall not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of nightmares. Go in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. Up and out. 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 False religion. Lose her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. False religion. Go. 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 Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Occult. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Up and out. Up and out. Go. Get out of her body. Get out of her body. Get out of her body. Keep going. All of you out. We break your power. Come out. Get out. All of you. All of you. All of you. Your cousins. Your daughters. Lose her in the name of Jesus Christ. All of you out. Go in the name of Jesus. We smite you. We smite you. And we break your power. Lose your grip and come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in the name of Jesus. Take over, Sister Lena.
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I know, devil, you can hear my voice. In the name of Jesus. And I command you to come forth now, you. The root, yes, you. You that have, hallelujah, you have a voodoo doll dedicated to Claudia. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I see you right now. I call you forth in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I'm telling you, in the name of Jesus, I bind you. I bind your hands, hallelujah, to your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bind your head to your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and I send the fire of God to destroy that voodoo doll. In the name of Jesus, and I reach forth, hallelujah, out of the grave to dig her up out of the dirt that you done buried her. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus, you spirit of jealousy, you have cursed that day. she would never. In the name of Jesus, you cursed her marriage, you have cursed her finance, you have cursed her business, and she's been trying. But the blood of Jesus in the Mashanda, in the name of Jesus, I command you to come up now. In the name of Jesus, spit it up, spit it up now. Spit up her finance, spit up her peace, spit up her joy. Come on up, devil. Come on up, devil. Come on up, devil. And you witch behind it. Listen and listen good. I'm speaking to you, devil. I know you hear me. In the name of Jesus, you didn't reckon for tonight. Abasako. I seal your mouth shut now. Listen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus, I command you to separate from our heart. Abasekira. Out, 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 out. Come up out of her heart. Out of her heart. I see you. I see you. Out. In the name of Jesus. Coming up. Out, 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 out. Now. Out of her heart. Out of her heart. You're not going to kill her tonight. You had your chance and you couldn't, devil. Come up now. Out, 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 out. Yes, you fed her. You fed her. In the name of Jesus. That meal that they brought to you, Clow. That meal they gave you to eat, Clow. That you received from the scorpion mole, Clow. In the name of Jesus. I command your body to spit it up now. Vomit it up now. In the name of Jesus. Vomit it up. Vomit it up, Clow. Koso Tirebasia. In the name of Jesus. 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 She's not alone. 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 In the name of Jesus, devil. In the name of Jesus, I'll break your curse. I set fire to that curse of death that you're put yes. over. In the name of Jesus Christ yes. of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus, every tormented spirit that's been tormenting her. Every spirit, hallelujah, for restlessness in the middle of the night. Yes, you, you, you that bother her in her sleep. That she cannot even have a good night's rest. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. Come on up. Out of her now in the name of Jesus. Come out of her belly. Come out of her bowels. Come up out of her intestine. Loose her now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, loose her now, you foul, wicked spirit. Loose her now, you devil. Loose her now, you witch, in the name of Jesus. She's no longer under your control. Uh, I extend the light of Christ that was given to me in my hand, uh, and I shine the flashlight and pierce her darkness. In the name of Jesus, the sun shall rise over her again. The moon shall shine over her again. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, no more shall she be in famine. In the name of Jesus, I call for the rain, the rain, the latter day rain, hallelujah, to soak her tonight, mighty God. Flow into every dry, barren area tonight, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, bring forth the fruit of hope. Bring forth the love, hallelujah. Bring forth the joy and the peace. Bring forth the long suffering. Bring forth the gentleness to goodness. Bring forth her faith, mighty God. Bring forth the meekness and the temperance. Let the devil know tonight that she's not alone. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every disturbance right now in her stomach. Right there. Below her ribcage. In the name of Jesus. And I'm calling you by your name. Gluttony. 
That's who you are. In the name of Jesus. Get out. I'm calling you by your name, Mr. Gluttonous. Get out. Get out. She will no longer wear that garment. In the name of Jesus, because she's no longer rejected. In the name of Jesus, she will no longer torment and torture herself. Get up. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. The Lord is her comfort and her strength. Get out now. Separate. 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 My sister, I want you to do this for me. I want you like you're pulling off a shirt. I want you just to lift it off your head. In the spirit. Amen. Yes. Lift it off your head. Throw it down to the ground. And I want you to stomp on it. Okay. Everything that's happened to you has happened from your waist up. Your infirmity that you're feeling, everything is from the bowel up. When I say waist, I'm talking about from the womb up. From the womb yes. up, the upper extremity of your body. Amen. Yes. That's the garment. You see, they had a doll. They did hoodoo voodoo, and I break that curse right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I destroy that curse with the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I command in the name of Jesus, every spirit that would seek to want to attack because of what happened tonight. I said, don't you even think about it. I raise the shield over my sister in the name of Jesus. The shield of faith has been built up around because God has not forgotten her. In the name of Jesus. I silence the mouth of the enemy tonight and I put you to an open shame according to the word of God. I break your bands of wickedness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They that have sat in darkness all these years, the light of Christ has come to them. Claudia, this is not the end. I agree. And Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, once again, we plead the blood of Jesus over Claudia tonight. Yes. Satan, we're attacking you from our position of authority. Seated with the Lord Jesus Christ in the highest of the heavenly. We bind every strong man working against you now in Jesus' name. We bind every devil trying to kill you tonight. Work and enter against you in the name of Jesus. We command those spirits mm. to loose you and come out right now. Manifest and come on out in Jesus' name. Every spirit of death, we break your power and loose her in Jesus' name. Come on out right now. Death curse is spoken against you. We break and loose you in Jesus' name. Mm. I agree with Rafi and Lena. Sister Judy Ann, loose her right now in Jesus' name. Come on, let's go. Every word curse spoken over you for you to die. We cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord Jesus Christ. Loose her. Loose her right now. Every type of voodoo worked against you. Every witchcraft attack. We bind it and break its power and loose you tonight, Cloud, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now. Let every curse be reversed and backfire on the witches and hit those demons in the name of Jesus. Loose her right now. Father God, have mercy on the witches, cursing her. Pour out your goodness, mercy, and grace, and save them, God, in the name of Jesus. But let every curse return right to the demon that sent it, to destroy that devil in the name of Jesus. Come on out, loose her right now. Death and destruction, come on out in Jesus' name. Spirit of anxiety, worry, fretting, spirits that cause you not to be able to sleep or eat, come out in the name of Jesus. We bind you and break your power. Loose her in the name of Jesus right now. Come on. Let's go. We break that curse of fear in Jesus' name. Fear, go. Fear that you'll lose your husband. Come on out in Jesus' name. Fear that your family is going to disintegrate. Come on out in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose her. Let her go. Father God, we confess the sins of her husband. Ask that you forgive him tonight of his sins. Pour out your goodness, mercy, and grace on him and save him in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind his strong man. We bind every devil working enter against him in the name of Jesus. We command those demons to loose his mind and will, that he can make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. We bind every spirit of adultery and divorce that would try to destroy your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, loose this family. Loose them and go in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, speak to him in a dream and a vision. Give him a vision of hell, God, if he doesn't repent. We bind the spirit 
trying to break up this marriage, all divorce spirits go in the name of Jesus. Loose them. Let's go. Spirit of divorce. Spirit of the other woman. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go. We break your power. Come out. Loose her in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of deep wounded hurt, wounded spirit, loose cloud in the name of Jesus. Come on out right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Loose her. Let's go. Move. All sickness, infirmity, go in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak right into your stomach. Be healed and made whole, Clow, in the name of Jesus. Speak to your body. Be healed and restore in Jesus Christ's name. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Lord God, loose your warrior angels to surround her tonight for protection. And any spirit that tries to wander that property, angels of God, cut it down. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We just bless you tonight, sister. We bless your marriage. Lord God, every ungodly soul tie connected to that marriage, we cut off and break right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Bless her tonight, Lord God. Loose your healing into, the, into the, her deep wounded hurt, Lord, in the name of Jesus tonight. In Jesus' name. All spirit of heaviness, we command it to go tonight. We break it off of you. Draining spirits, go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Looser. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Clau you, Jesus. Claudia, how are you feeling? Como sientes? Much better. Mucho mejor? Much, much better. <laughs> much, much better. Just thank, thank Jesus tonight. How's your belly? Come here. Yes, I was going to ask her too. Como tu yeah, sientes en tu estómago? Tu estómago duele? I feel good. Feel good. Okay, please reach Make out sure. to us. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm going to finish praying for her. Yes, you want to uh, hit that stomach area again? Yes. ¿Estás segura que está bien? ¿Está 100%? Sí. Tengo, o sea, me ha salido muchos gases. Ok. Eh, el, el dolor que tenía en el lado derecho se me ha ido, pero todavía estoy bastante inflamada. Ok. So, uh, the pain that she had went away, uh -huh. but she's still, uh, still a little bit inflamated. You know, still, right. So, uh, because everything is, is um, dispersed now, we need to get um, pray that the, the, the body now starts to release the stress so that she can go and it will expel. So, um, yeah. yeah, go ahead, Brother Sh um, Brother Raphael. Brother Raphael. Brother yeah. Raphael. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, eh, señora Clau, ¿puedes poner la mano en tu estómago, por favor? En la parte sí, que... Sí, la, ten que... la tengo ahí desde que ustedes están orando sobre mi estómago. Amen. Okay. okay. So, vamos ora pa sanidad, okay? Okay. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, we speak to that stomach right now to be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. We command that infirmity to melt down and go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. Dissolve and go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of her belly. Jesus. Get out of her belly now. Infirmity, go. Go, infirmity, in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, inflammation, go in the name of Jesus Loser right now. Fever, go in the name of Jesus. Pain, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go. Up and out. Go. Keep going. Get out. Get out of her belly. Get out of her belly. Get out of her belly. Get out of her belly in the name of Jesus Christ. How dare you in the name of Jesus to be tormenting this child of God. Get out of her belly. Come out. Come out. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out. All of you out. All of this nest. We break the power of the nest in the name of Jesus Christ. We remove you by the root in the name of Jesus. No demon left behind. Go in the name of Jesus. All of you out. All of you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of her belly. Get out of her belly and get out of her body in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Loser, up and out. Up and out. Up and out. She's uh, asking, uh, uh, Cloud, no tenga miedo. Uh, deja que salga. Deja que salga, ok, no, no, no trata de aguantar, no importa si haga ruido y le despierta a la gente, es mejor para afuera do que adentro. Si tú necesitas este trompeto, no está problema. Aleluya. Que <laughs> salga en el nombre de Jesús Cristo. Lose her belly. In the name of Jesus. Up and out, up and out, up and out, up and out, go, go infirmity, go infirmity. Loose that stomach in go. Jesus' name. Out, 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 out. 
Go, you, you that came to that trauma, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose her in the name of Jesus. Up and out. Go, go, infirmity, go. Get out of her belly. Get out of her belly in the name of Jesus Christ. In the keep name going, of Jesus. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All of y'all. In the name of Jesus. All of we bind the strong man in the name of Jesus. Lose her in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose her right now. Keep going. In the name of Jesus. Just go right out of that intestine and in in stomach in the name of Jesus. Go, go, Loose. go, go. Loose in, in Jesus' the name. name of Jesus. Body in the name of Jesus. We command any blockage to open in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the bowels to flow in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak to those bowels being loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. Looser. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of in the name of every, Jesus. Go hallelujah. Ahead. Every foul, wicked spirit that was transferred through marital relations and, and is now hibernated and set up shop inside of her belly, inside of her womb, in the name of Jesus Christ. And every foul, wicked spirit that was transferred from a husband right now, in the name of Jesus, that is hiding. I say, God, right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will light a fire in our intestine, in our womb, in our bowels. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I call for life in our womb. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. She's no longer cursed and barren in her womb. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That spirit of lust and sexual perversion, Amashanda, that was transferred. In the name of Jesus. You gatekeeper, I command you to abandon. Yes, you gatekeeper. In the name of Jesus. I destroy your gates. In the name yes. of Jesus. Come up out of her now, wow. out of her now, out of her now, in the name of Jesus. Uh, on, on. Yes, 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 I see you, yeah, come yes, yes, come on up, come on up. Oh. Show yourself, yes, 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 you've been hiding, on. you've on. been hiding, on. haven't you? Out, 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 now, in the name of Jesus, come up, up. come up, come up, come up, come in the name of Jesus, come up, in the name of Jesus, you made her womb to be, oh. hallelujah, like All the graveyard, way. she's not, hallelujah, Shanda, in the name of Jesus, not a graveyard, in the yes. name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you cursed oh. even her intestine, you cursed her womb, mm. in the name of Jesus, I'll break your curse, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh. get out of her now. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God, destroy your assignment. I plead the blood. Oh. I cover her womb. Lord, we wash her womb tonight with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every foul, wicked spirit that was transferred, that has come from that other woman. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because she said she's taking your place. The blood of Jesus Christ against yes. the woman. Let none put asunder what God has put together. In the name of Jesus, Adam Ashenda. In the name of Jesus, yeah. I send the fire. I lose the vengeance of fire. God upon you tonight. Mm. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that you shall visit them upon their bed tonight. Get out, get out, get out of her. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Coming up. Coming up, you foul wicked spirit. Coming up. Coming up. Get out. Coming up. Up, 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 up. Coming up. Come, come. Come up, 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 up. You the one giving her indigestion. We serve oh. you a spiritual indigestion tonight. Yes. You yourself gonna flee. You have to leave your you have to leave your dwelling place in the name of Jesus. Lord God, hallelujah. Father God, hallelujah. Just that the glory of the Lord, mighty God, will be like the weight, that great weight pressing upon my sister Cloud right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, that, that devil must flee. In the name of Jesus, coming up, 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 up. Yes, 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 right there. Out of her navel, coming up, up. Up, 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 yes. In the name of Jesus, I see you like a leech. Yes, I see you attaching, sucking everything. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I'll break your teeth, you fucking mm. spirit. Get out, you vampire spirit. Get out, you leech. You shall not live on her no more. You shall no longer drink milk from this woman. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. Get out. Get out. Go. Go now. We're not going to fight with you. We know who you are. Every human afraid. spirit, and witchcraft spirit, come out in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Every unclean demonic spirit, loose her body in the name of Jesus right now. I agree. Keep going. We place you demons in the judgment of the Lord Jesus Christ. Loose angels of God right to Cartagena and begin to attack those spirits. Every yeah. spirit coming against you and any spirit that already breached through, attack angels in Jesus' name. Push it out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Move. We pour the blood of Jesus right into that stomach. We command that stomach be healed in Jesus' name. Inflammation go in the name of Jesus. Any blockage open in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go. All deep wounded hurt. 
all insecurity and inferiority. We rebuke you. Go in Jesus' name. Move. All spirits of shame. All lying spirit that said it's your fault. Go in the mighty name of Jesus. Let her go. Move. Demon, we're talking to you. You have to obey. You're going to come out tonight in Jesus' name. Let her go. Take it over. Hermana, eh, Claudio, ¿tú escuchas algo en, en, tu, en tu cabeza? ¿Alguna sensación viene? Don, eh, ¿Algún recuerdo algo viene en tu mente cuando estamos orando por ti? ¿Algún tipo de sensación? Quizá miedo, o odio, o, o dolor cuando estamos orando por ti? No. No. no eh, eh, cuando están orando por mí... Eh, Siento que todo tiene sentido, lo, la oración que están haciendo es okay. porque a medida que han ido orando, pues el estómago se me ha ido desinflamando, el dolor se ha ido. Ok, cheque el estómago ahora, vamos a ver cómo está el estómago ahora. Trata, levántate si puedes, camina un poquito, chequea, aperta bien la mano, vamos a ver qué pasó. Está eh, me ha desinflamado bastante el colon pero la parte de, de, de la boca del estómago todavía lo tengo bastante tenso, así como tenso y tengo eh, acidez. Así. Ok. Ahora, toda acidez en el nombre de Jesucristo, yo comando que salgas ahora. Toda acidez. Salga, salga, para afuera. Toda acidez. Vete para afuera en el nombre de Jesucristo. Para afuera, dale, para afuera, para afuera, para afuera. Pa Espíritu de acidez, go in the name of Jesus. Out, para afuera. Dale, dale. Todo, todo el de estómago. Salga en el nombre de Jesucristo. Salgan de sus órganos en el nombre de Jesucristo. Para afuera en el nombre de Jesús. Para afuera, dale. En el nombre de Jesús, para afuera. Para afuera, para afuera. Fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Fuera. Toda la acidez. Fuera en el nombre de Jesucristo. En los riñones. Salga de los riñones en el nombre de Jesucristo. De los órganos en el nombre de Jesús. Lucer en el nombre de Jesús. Lucer in the name of Jesus. Lucer in the name of Jesus. Up and out. Up and out. Keep going. All the way out. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That is it. Deja que salga. Deja que salga. In the name of Jesus Christ. Acuela. Acuela. Quanto tu odia eso? Quanto tu odia eso? Trata de pensar en esas cosas, ¿entiendes? Yo odio, yo no quiero, yo no te quiero enfermedad, yo no te quiero. Piensa en eso, en el nombre de Jesús Cristo que está saliendo toda la enfermedad. En el nombre de Jesús Cristo. Fuera, fuera, fuera. Out, 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 out. Keep going, keep going, infirmity. Go in the name of Jesus. Lose her by the root. Get out of her stomach. Get out of her stomach. Get out of her stomach. Get out of the top of her stomach now in the name of Jesus. Go, go. There's no leftovers. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. All of you out. All of you out. Out, 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 out. Keep on going in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. In the name of Jesus. Go. 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 Go ahead, brother. I agree. Vomit it out, sister. Right out of your stomach. Come on out in the name of Jesus. Move. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. Deja que salga, hermana. Deja que salga. En el nombre de Jesucristo. Pa' fuera, pa' fuera, pa' fuera. Sigue saliendo. 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 Vamos. Vamos. Rápido, rápido, rápido. Go in the name of Jesus. Fast. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her now in the name of Jesus Christ. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every type of food that she ate is consecrated to idols. We break the power that curse in the name of Jesus. Loose her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out. Get out of the stomach. Get out of the stomach. Get out of the stomach. Out, 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 out. Get out in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Move it out. Move it out. Move it out. Loose her. Loose her. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Keep going. Keep going. Spirits of infirmity, spirits of pain and torment. Go in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. I agree. You're going to come out of her. Claudia, is there anybody right now that's coming to mind that you need to forgive, sister, that you haven't forgiven already? No. How about on the job? Yes, on my job. The last time, my last job was very hard for me because I did. Uh, Oh, I gave all myself to a job, loved it very much, and they decide 
to fire me with no reason. They couldn't give me a reason or anything. Just okay. told me they knew they were making a mistake, fire me, but they had to do it. So can you for um, me it was like can you forgive the principal that fired you? Yes, I have to. You have to. Yes, I have. To. You want to do that right now? I don't want the whole okay. the whole name, just the first name. Whatever it is, say, I forgive you, Joe, whatever it is. I, for, uh, I forgive you, uh, Luis Manuel Carvajal. And say, Father God, I ask that you would bless him in Jesus' name. Father, I ask you to bless him in Jesus' name. Okay. Can you forgive your husband? Oh, yes. I have. Okay. Anybody else yes. that you need to forgive? Brother Shannon. Yes, ma'am. Um, she says she's forgiven, but she's holding on some deep hurt because she's been, um, as you say, uh, put to shame. Yes. So you've forgiven him, but you have to release the hurt. You have to release it. Can you do that tonight? How is that? Hmm? How, how is that? Um, okay. Because of what happened with your husband, you've been made a laughing stock. Uh huh. You've been you've been the the topic of much gossip. Tonight's show was about you. Yes, I know. Amen. You you have been um, your experience in both the um, the scorpion leader, okay, yes. within your husband and the people around him that are under his, his command, the scorpion moles that are at you. You're, you, you mm. So what I'm saying is that you're saying you forgive him, but there's that hurt. You have to release the hurt and the shame that are coming with that because these people, when you walk by, they snicker and, and laugh. And, you know, and it, it makes you feel ashamed. Can you let that go tonight and, and actually let them go? So, Claudia, what you want to do okay. is the very ladies who have cheated with your husband, you need to release them tonight. You're not, you're not condoning what okay. they did, but you're going to forgive her or them if it's been multiple women and give them to Jesus tonight. Can you do that? In doing so, it's going to set yes. you free. And it's going to allow God to work on your husband. Yes, I will. So in your yes, own words sure. to God right now who's listening, just tell him that you forgive the the ladies who have been involved with your husband. Okay. Uh, dear Lord, uh, this night I forgive all the women that be with my husband and I release the hurt in my heart for the laugh of other people and the gossip they have made for me, the friends, and and all that. I just release them in the name of Jesus tonight and send them free of my heart, my pain, my soul, and my heart. And I bless them in the name of Jesus. Excellent. Because that's the second thing we got to do is bless them. The best blessing is that God would save them. And what that does is that released you tonight. And that's going to open up the door for God to work on them. Praise the Lord. Okay. Oh, praise the Lord. You don't have to be a prisoner anymore. We're going to pray again okay. for you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I also confess any other sins, known or unknown, that may be related to this condition that haven't been dealt with. Forgive those tonight, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we close the door to every devil that has been attacking you in this area in Jesus' name. We break the curse associated with these physical attacks in Jesus' name and mental attacks. We bind you devils and we rebuke you and command you to come out looser in the name of Jesus. Let them go looser and come out right now in Jesus' name. Any spirit that's been lodged in there, bitterness, unforgiveness, spirit of revenge, hatred, murder, anger, rage, 
Go in the mighty name of Jesus right now. Loose, sir, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that Jesus wants out, we're talking to you. We bind and rebuke and command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Let her go. And we speak to those areas that were hurt and damaged, be healed and made whole in Jesus' name. Let me give it back over to you, Lane and Raphael. Praise the Lord. How's your stomach, Caesar? How are you feeling now? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. How's your stomach? How are you feeling right now? Did the pain go eh, away? Mucho, mucho mejor, sí. Mucho mejor. Do you feel anything yet? Uh, still? Eh, todavía lo tengo inflamado, pero... Mm. Okay. Pero me siento mucho mejor. Okay. Not Amen. Bad. Can in. you forgive Amen. yourself tonight, sister? you got to now forgive yourself. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus has Amen. forgiven you. Yeah. Forgive yourself. Amen. And don't listen to the devil anymore who would try to condemn you. Yes. Amen. You You did what many people may not have had the bravery to do. But if they had not, or if you had not tonight, you would still be bound up and be a prisoner to the tormentors. You've been set free tonight by releasing those people, who the very people who hurt you. Yes. Praise the Lord for you, sister. Forgive yourself now. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I like, Amen. I'd like to pray for her. A final prayer. <laughs> Go for it. Yes, sure. Plenty of time. Go I just, for it. Uh, we just, uh, you know, we feel so much compassion for her. And it's like, mm -hmm. just like uh, Sister Anita wrote me, like, you know, Sister Anita feels like hugging her. And I feel the same way. And, uh, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I lift up the life of Cloud. Father, she's a beautiful woman, oh God, that's been through so much, so much, oh Lord. Right now, I pray, Father, that you just go deep into her heart right now, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. And then you bring healing, oh Lord, because you came to heal the broken heart, oh Father. Father, right now, her little heart, Lord, throughout her life, oh Lord, has been ups and downs, and she has gone through a lot, oh Father. And right now, Lord, the father that she lost, I pray that you be the father that she never had, oh Lord. Jesus. And bring the love, bring the love, the yes, fatherhood Lord. love, the fatherhood Hallelujah. love. Hallelujah. Let her know you, not only as a savior, but as a father, oh God. Let her know you, Lord. Let her have the re a relationship with you like she never had with you before, Father. Stir it up, oh Lord, love. A hunger for your word, for the things of God, oh Lord, that she that she never had before, Father. Through your Holy Spirit, I pray, Father, that you touch her right now deeply, oh Lord. And fill her, Father, with your love, with the joy, with the peace, with the shalom of God. The peace of God, oh Lord, touch her right now. Long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, oh Lord, gentleness, self-control, oh Father. I pray that you fill her with the fruit of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Also pray, Father, for her. For a restoration in her in her marriage, for a restoration in her family, O oh Lord. I pray, Father, that your will be done in their family. I pray that your your will will be done in their lives, O oh Lord. I bind and I break every every spirit that is assigned to destroy their family in the name of Jesus Christ. We break the power, we cancel the operation, we cancel the operation of, of any witchcraft attack ritual that is sent against my, our sister right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, I speak blessings, I speak shalom over her yes. house in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Shalom of God. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, shalom of God in the, in, the, in the midst of troubles, of the storm of God. I pray that you peace the rest upon her, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name. There's no other name like the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray, O oh Lord. Have your way, O oh Lord. Have your way, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father. We, we thank you, Lord, because you are the healer. And you are awesome. You are awesome in this place, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. Amen. Sister Hallelujah. Claudia. Are you taking Belladonna? Belladonna. Eh, no, ahora mismo no. What pero do si Pong, lo tomé. Pongo una bosura, porque esto es un benino. <laughs> I looked up the Belladonna. It causes it causes uh, anxiety. It will increase constipation. Mm. It can cause a, a whole list of problems. Jesus Christ is your healer. And the problem with is the 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 herbal the herbalist the botanicus 
the natural path there yeah i would stop going to them it's new age. It's actually new age sorcery that they use in what's going on with her is spiritual and they're using the, the weapons of the enemy to battle. You can't you can't fight mm -hmm. the devil with the devil. And so they sent poison to her already and they're now filling up her body with the poison, which really intensifies what was going on inside of her. Um, you know, they, they this is this is um, Belladonna is. Um, one of the choicest herbs of witches right now. So, Claudia, mm. take everything that you've received from the herbalist and throw it in the garbage. Yes. Okay. Don't go okay. back. You don't need it. And then just go back to eat, drinking some juices. Plenty of water. Know, she needs hugo water. de papaya. Yeah. You know, total los hugos. Mm -hmm. You know, hugo mm. de piña. Hugo yes, de mora. Pineapple. Hugo mm. de lulu. Mm. All the great juices that you can get there in Cartagena, go back to eating some good food. Get rid of all that stuff. You don't need it. Yes. And we're going to continue to pray with you, and the Lord's going to heal your body. Yes. He's okay. actually started the process. You don't need it anymore. Amen. 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 And please um, reach out to us so we can set something up, my sister, so that Brother Raphael and myself, okay? We love you. Yes. We let us know. Thank you very much. I'm going to pass your phone number to uh, Lena and Raphael, and we'll work with you, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, you. Nice to meet you. Okay. We love you, okay? Okay. Thank you, Okay. Shalom. Bye-bye. Shalom. Shalom. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. We want to thank Sister Juliet for orchestrating that call tonight. Thank you, Sister Juliet, for Amen. connecting us tonight. You know, Brother also, Shannon, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Lena, Brother I'm Shannon. Back to your original question. I'm excited that we have deliverance ministers in Spanish who can minister <laughs> to people. Praise the Lord. It's great. And you have one that loves the, 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 the um, as they call it, the late night. The He's the night rider. Oh, oh I like that name. That's a good one right there. You're the night rider. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. You know, Pray Sister Anita, she, she's like the, there's a commercial of the Energizer battery. You know, there's a little, uh, what was a little animal there? You know, she just keeps on going and going and going, man. She won't stop. I remember last time, I mean, not last time. There was one time that she came here and we were ministering to someone. Brother, we were ministering for seven hours straight. <laughs> Go Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Brother Shannon, um, I want to share something t to all the listeners that are out there. Um something the Lord wanted me to educate them on and what just happened tonight. And that is if you have a cheating spouse, there are spirits that are transferred to the spouse that they're being cheated on. Okay? That means that whatever spirit that's been transferred is not there to make love to you. It is there to attack you. So they enter in through the marital relationships and they are wreaking havoc in the other person's body. Amen? That's exactly right. You know, forgiving someone doesn't mean that you're in agreement with what they were doing. No, you hate the sin, you forgive the person. God will deal with it. Yeah. You know, vengeance of mind saith the Lord, I shall repay. And when you forgive them and you pray for them, ask God to bless them. That will give them a space and time to repent. And you know what you, you do want is you want to see them to repent. If they don't repent, God will deal with it. But Amen. if we don't forgive, we're going to remain the victim for the rest of yeah. our lives until we release them. So that sets us free and then allows God to be free to go ahead and work on the behalf of the situation. Or otherwise, the enemy is the only one that wins. Uh, there's also another special prayer request. Um, I'm not able to get him on the phone, I don't think, but um, Lena Raphael, uh, Juliet writes in earlier this morning. She says, um, there's also a brother, his name is Victor Torres. She's believing for a miracle for him. He's in uh, four-stage pancreatic cancer. Um, also has, it's affecting his liver and esophagus. And uh, four-stage means they basically sent him, to, sent him home to die. So we don't know that this is a sickness unto death. 
so we, we can stand in the gap for him tonight and pray that God would do a miracle because that's exactly what he needs. Uh, would you all pray for Brother Victor Torres and asking everybody tonight to come in agreement with Lane and Raphael as they pray for Victor? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Father, right now, Lord, we come in agreement, in agreement, oh Lord. Father, there's someone called Victor right now, Father, that is hurt, that is probably right now going through fear. It's fearful, that person, oh Lord. Father, is so much going on in his mind right now, Father. But Father, I pray that you reveal yourself to Victor right now, Lord, as we pray, as we come in agreement. I pray, Father, that you go and you visit Victor right now at his room right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we speak life to his body in the name of Jesus. And we curse that cancer by the root in the name of Jesus Christ. We break the power of that cancer right now in the name of Jesus. Every evil cells, we commit it to die right now in the name of Jesus. Die. Die right now. Dissolve and die in the name of Jesus. Go, get out of his body right now. We break the power of that infirmity of that evil spirit of cancer. We bind the spirit of cancer in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind you in the name of Jesus. We command you to lose his body. Be healed in the name of Jesus, Victor, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. We command you to get out infirmity. Get out the infirmity of his body in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, Father, for his salvation. If he's not saved, oh God, I pray that you use the circumstance, oh God, that the devil created for evil. Father, I pray that you bring good, you bring salvation, you bring restoration, oh God. Let him know who you are, oh Father, in these last days, Father. All it matters is winning lives, winning souls, Father, to Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. I pray, Father, that you reveal yourself to him, oh God. Let the Jesus. gospel of the kingdom of Father Come to him, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you give him ears to hear, eyes to see, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. And a heart that is ready to receive the gospel of peace in the name of And anoint, O oh God, whoever you're going to use to bring this message to him. Anoint that person, Father. Fill that person with the Holy Spirit and power Jesus. and authority Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Fill that person. Prepare the vessel, O oh God. Let it be used by you, Lord, mightily, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are trusting in your name. And Father, we can't wait to hear a miracle, Lord, of a salvation and healing and restoration, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And all the brothers and sisters say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you so much, God. Amen. I, I agree. Um, go ahead, Brother Shannon. No, go ahead. I was going to say, if um, Sister Juliet had uh, sent this in, if she's listening right now, the message is, the Lord cares more about his soul. His soul needs to be saved. Yes. It's a battle for his soul. This infirmity is, um, that he's going through, it's not of God, but the Lord wants him to turn his eyes to him. Because when the body dies, and we all are appointed to die once, it's the eternal soul that Hamas Koreshia. It's his eternal soul that's hanging in the balance. I believe Absolutely. he's saved. Uh, I'm looking at the chat room here. I believe he's saved. Uh, we, <clears throat> hold on. Um, someone said it. May I say uh, something? We all can say we are saved. But where is our eyes? Yeah. My brothers and sisters, he's lost his eyes. Amen. So please, I know, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And yep. the Holy Spirit is saying this to me. It is just battle for his soul. The body is going to go back to the earth where it came from, but the soul must return. And the Lord is saying, I want it. I don't want it to go to hell. So this is the message for him. This is a message just going out. The Lord is calling him nigh. And, and I'm not saying that he didn't say yes to the Lord. We all have said yes to the Lord at one time or another when we thought we were on the straight and now we were stumbling in the darkness. Just, just as the message tonight, you know, a lot of us are under attack. We are under siege. And in that moment, we forgot. You know, myself included, I've been in that place where we forgot where we are and who we are and take our eyes off Jesus and the enemy just been pummeling and pummeling us. Amen. So um, I am Please, It's just a cry for his soul. Amen. God can heal the body. Tendrá cobro a partir de este momento. Grabe su mensaje después del tono. Cuando haya terminado, cuelgue o marque uno para más opciones. Amen.
Talbert, Suyo, Shannon, De Estados Unidos, Estamos aquí con el Pastor Rafael Candido y Evangelista Lana Nita. Estamos aquí para uh, hacer oraciones para ti. Si tú estás despierto, uh, mandar un mensaje a Juliet y nosotros hablamos otra vez. Chao. Chao. Si usted está satisfecho con su mensaje, marque uno para escuchar tu Amen. My Spanish is just survival Spanish, folks. Ah, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> yes. I'm so rusty. I haven't used it in four years. But um, praise the Lord. That's uh, another brother in Cartagena. Uh, you know, we haven't had anybody to pray in Spanish. Uh, by and Amen. large, the only person I've known is Pastor Peter Torres. He's in full-time ministry. And then we just found um, Brother Plom and Petrov, of all places, in Bulgaria who has been blessed with some Spanish, but my brother, you're a native speaker. In Portuguese, also Spanish and English. What a team you are, Elena. <laughs> Praise the Amen. Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I don't great. speak Spanish too well either, but I do understand lots. Yeah. So if you're talking about me, I will know. <laughs> yeah, she was here. And, uh, we had a Christmas party here at, at, a, at a house. <laughs> there was a lot of people here, and uh, it, was, uh, you know, it was pretty fun. And she couldn't understand everything that they were doing, you know. We were, we were making games and stuff, and uh, it was fun. It was fun, and she, she really understood everything. I was, I was impressed. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Do you speak any Patois? Oh, no, 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 okay. no, no. I'm sorry. No, no, no. We had a caller today, and she began to break out in Patois. I was speaking to Brother Winston, folks. I was trying to understand. They oh, said I something understand. about a swordfish I sandwich it, or something. I understand. Okay. okay. <laughs> speaking tongues. <laughs> it is it is like speaking in tongues. Ah, let's see. I may have another number for him. Let me look right here. Um, actually, let me try one more. How are y'all doing for time? Do you have time for one more call if we can make it? Praise um, the Lord. Okay. While I'm setting that up, um, would each of you please one more time give out your ministry contact info, your websites, and also uh, tell people how they can support your ministry. Do y'all have PayPal? And I want to encourage people. <laughs> to uh, support the ministry of Brother Raphael and Sister Lena. They're doing a, a great work for the Lord, and you can be a part of that. I'm excited about what you are doing because um, God needs all hands on deck, and it's fantastic to know that you are doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. And uh, also, you're in the both of y'all are in the Florida area. Is that right? In same Orlando, Miami? Where are y'all located? For uh, geographically. Central, Central Florida, yes, you know, Orlando area. Uh, and uh, uh, where are you now, Sister Nita? I mean, you're, <laughs> she, she's always traveling around. I'm not even sure where she's staying yet. I mean. I mean, I am, I am right now down on missions in South Florida. Okay. Yes. <laughs> the last time you were in Tampa, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm all over. Sorry. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm calling someone. Let me see if I can raise him here. Hallelujah. That one is God. Don't feel bad about being mobile. I keep getting angry. I said, Lord, are you going to allow me to put down any roots somewhere? And I, I guess he's got me in mobile mode still. I just. <laughs> hey. For like the last four years. <laughs> <laughs> Well, praise the Lord. Let's see here. Let's we tried that one. I see there's one more number I can try. Call. Let's see if this one works. So when uh when are we gonna have a Omega main conference? Sistema correo de voz. Tendrá cobro a partir de este momento. Uh, Ju uh, Juliet, if you're listening, uh, let me know if you're able to text him. And if he's awake, yes. he may not be awake. There, it may be, I forgot what time it is over in Cartagena. It's about 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning, I forget. But if he's, <laughs> if he's awake, <laughs> we'll pray. Um, you know what? I, it's the right time. I believe God's going to open up that door. I really want to uh, start organizing some conferences. And, yes. um, but you know what? Praise the Lord for those that are going on right now. 
Um, did you get a chance to go up to the Augusto Press Conference? Oh, it was in awesome. Texas? Awesome. Awesome. It was like heaven, <laughs> heaven on earth. <laughs> How many people roughly showed up out there? Just to kind of an idea. Is it a small turnout or I mean, what um, many well, of the depend, conferences? That was meeting uh, in Texas. But the ones that we had here in, uh, in Florida, uh, we had a, you know, a good amount of people, you know, and I'll tell you, Roger Shannon, anybody right now that's struggling with, uh, you know, discouragement, anybody that's running out of gas spiritually, okay, that's the place to go. That's the place to go to get, you know, your gas tank fill up to keep mm. going. I'll tell you, this is a Holy Ghost fire. People being baptized in the Holy Spirit. The real deal. That's not nothing emotional, nothing fake. Okay, it's the real power of God moving there. Uh, the man of God is a humble man of God, and I just, I'll tell you, that was true healing taking place, true deliverance taking place, and uh, just the power of God is amazing. You know, we have a lot of intercessors that are just praying, attacking. You know, just preparing the atmosphere for for a weekend conference. Yes. And then when you get there. It's powerful, you know. It's powerful, and I'm telling you, if you, it's a must go. I'm not sure when it's going to be the next one, but uh, I suggest anyone there listen to me. It's a pretty good deal for you spiritually, you know. Uh, God is so awesome, you know. This is, this would take me to a different direction here, but God is so awesome, you know. I went there. I'm not bragging about anything here, okay. And uh, I donated some money, okay, to the ministry, and I I had to miss a few days of work. I mean, a day of work, actually. And then I went to the conference. I missed the day of work. I didn't care about that. I just care about just spending time in God's presence with the, with the true body of believers, okay? Yes. It's not normal. It's, it's different. It's very different, the atmosphere and everything. So I got there. I, I donated some money. And when I come back, my boss, when he comes time to pay me, he pays me a day extra, you see? It's like I, it's like I work that day that I, I didn't work. That wow. was in the conference. Mm. God is so awesome. And then somebody else just give me a tip money. I never received tip money. You know how Praise God Lord. God is so awesome. You know, and I I love about that. And I, I love about just you know how this 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 is a principle that operates in the kingdom of God. You know about giving. You know, and I, obviously I give. I don't, I don't I don't mind about receiving. I don't care about receiving. But the Lord just He blesses us. And what I'm saying is this is. Maybe some of you cannot afford to go to a conference like that. But if you feel in your heart that you have to go, the Lord will provide you a way and he's going to help you with that. Okay. Just make sure that's what he wants. And if you care about your soul, about your spiritual life, I'm, he's going to help you out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've seen many, many times, many, many times. Amen. Amen. Okay. It looks Jesus. like Brother Dalbert is sleeping, so what I'm going to do is I will get his contact info to y'all, and uh, we'll set it up another time. Um, Come in. Before we close tonight, any um, any final comments either of you would like to make tonight? And I want to thank you all for coming on. Also, I want to tell you, I'm making up the uh, April schedule right now. Would you all check your schedule and let me know what you got available for our next show together? Amen. Just yes. get back with me uh, over the next couple of days, and let's hook it up. But, um, hey man, but you got to explain me about the chickens, though. Oh, uh, the chickens? Remember? Yes. Oh, don't kill my chickens? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true story. I'll make it quick. Okay. My grandfather and grandmother uh, got called into the ministry back in the 50s. And um, they served the Lord very faithfully for over 50 years in full-time ministry. And they were called to Texas. And down in Texas, they, um, they were sent out to what's called a mission church which is basically there were these little churches that um, most of them had no active pastors, but there were people there that needed uh, a local church to go to. And literally back in the 50s, it may be just some old wooden, you know, old place, just you know, barely standing. And um, they would just go out to nowhere and uh, to take the assignment, you know, wherever the Lord would open the door. And they went out there and it was a poor little church. Um, and most of these churches, you know, usually would have a parsonage which is a, a church provided for the a house provided for the pastor, but they didn't even have that. And um, I think at one time they had a little room that was like right behind the, the choir and <laughs> didn't even have running water, but uh, that's where they lived. But, you know, they were roughing it, but um, they were serving, you know, to the Lord. And um, it was hard. There was not even a salary for the, um, for the pastor. 
just you know some poor folk there and uh, but they want they they needed they needed uh, they needed a, a place to worship so they took the assignment and um, it was rough my grandfather would he would moonlight painting houses and later on would take other side jobs just to put food on the table while they're preaching until they you know later on got open the door for a bigger place but back to the story um, it was tough you know they're they're working full time for the Lord and they had like uh, five kids at five kids at home with them mm. and um, it was like Lord we need some food this week <laughs> it's <laughs> we need some food we're running out and my grandmother knew how to you know to, to work with very little because she grew up very poor her, her father was a, a bootlegger my grandfather great-grandfather so back to the story they get a knock on the door one day and um, one day they open the door and there's nobody there just a bag of groceries some bacon some eggs some you know some sugar some flour make some biscuit some gravy and then another day they got a knock on the door and uh, it was one of the ladies who was going to the church now there are a lot of farmers in that area and this lady says to my grandfather his name was brother Weber brother Weber the Lord has impressed on me to give you 10 chickens. And she had the chi- chickens in like the back of the truck. And my granddad's eyes got big. What am I going to do with chickens? And uh, he's thinking to himself, you know, he kind of laughed and giggled, you know. No, sister, I can't take those chickens. No, please, Brother Weber, the Lord has told me to give you these chickens. Now, you know, <laughs> he should have taken those chickens, made eggs, maybe made some chicken. And he, uh, he turned her down. He said, no, I can't do it. Well... She went away, and she comes back the next day. This time, she's crying. She says, oh, Brother Weber, you should have taken my chickens. What happened? They're all dead. They died. (laughs) And, of course, he felt really bad. And the Lord convicted him, you know. You should have accepted that gift of the chickens. And so he said to me, he said, son, uh, if someone offered me chickens, I cannot turn them away because I killed her chickens. The Lord was teaching me a lesson. <laughs> Jesus. And so he says, uh, don't kill my chickens. <laughs> 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 he gave me like a $5 bill one funny. time. And he, I said, no, Granddad, I can't take this. No, son, don't kill my chickens. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they, so if some, the, the moral of that story is if, if God puts it on the, someone's heart to bless you, don't turn it away. Okay. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because yeah. you're, they're going to miss their blessing. And, um, and then, you know, you will too, and then you don't want to kill anybody's chickens. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Amen. That's a true Amen. story. <laughs> I receive it. Or I receive it, my brother. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> so, listen, if God is putting on someone's heart out there tonight to bless your ministries, once again, um, how can a person do that? Do you all have PayPal? If so, please give that out, your website, and tell people once again about the, uh, the church that you have and how they can come out and fellowship if they're in the area. Yes, praise the Lord. Well, my name is Rafael Candido, and we have a house church here in Orlando, Florida. You may contact me through Facebook, Rafael Candido. And uh, we also have a PayPal account, yes, and uh, it's the same as our email address. It's uh, houseofshalomfl at gmail.com. And uh, if you want to reach us through phone, we have a landline landline. And our number of our office is 47201-2627. Amen. And Sister Elena? Yes, Brother Shannon. Um, you have a website, don't you? Give that up. Yes, it's lenanita.com, please. www.lenanita.com. Or um, you can reach me on my phone, which is 407-212-2523. Or by email, which is preachgospelww at aol.com. Or on Facebook, Evangelist Lena Danita. Or Instagram and Twitter, preachgospelww. That's an easy website, lenanita.com. And Amen. Um, Brother Raphael, one more time, your website? Uh, I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm, working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. I'm working on it. Absolutely. You know what? <laughs> um, there's an easy way to do it. 
you can uh, you can go to Wix.com that you can build one or WordPress. WordPress is really cool. And um, call me if you want any help. I'll give you a pointer or two. I'm not an expert on it, but I can help you um, direct you in the right place. You can get a website up in a day. And yeah. um, I think y'all should um, consider coming on here more often. I really enjoyed tonight. Uh, look at your mm. schedules and let me know what you got, and it'll be an honor to have you on. And um, praise the Lord. If y'all are tuning in out there for the first time, welcome tonight. We'll get this audio up in the archive and later. Uh, Brother Mayday, Shannon. Yes, ma'am. Are, are you closing? Yes, ma'am. Uh, unless you all have anything else you'd like to add, feel free. Um, there's something that's um, weigh, weighing a bit heavy on my, my spirit. Yes, ma'am. And the Lord wouldn't allow us to close the show without addressing this, if that's okay. Oh, absolutely. I, amen. I'd like to address just a little bit about that being saved. Um, when we were praying for um, the brother, mm. and um, yes. It was mentioned that the brother, um, that there was a struggle over the brother's soul, and the comment was came through chat that they were saved. Um, I want everyone to remember that we're not sitting in the seat of judgment. I'm not. I'm listening to the Holy Spirit, and you know, if when we say yes to Jesus, then and that's it, then you know. Why would he say, choose ye this day and each day to work out your salvation with fear and trembling? We have to know that between now and the death, when we die, it is a struggle for our soul. You may wake up today and you're walking um, for Jesus and tomorrow something happens and you've fallen off the wagon. So... Um, when I'm, I'm not sitting in the seat of judgment, the Holy Spirit is telling, but for us to understand our spiritual walk, that it is, it will continue to be a war and a struggle. But if we keep our eyes on him and when things set us back to still keep our eyes as the message tonight was going forth to tell us to still keep our eyes on him because there's still power, power to break and cast the darkness and set us free, you know, but I don't want the enemy to try to come and to leave a bitter taste in tonight. You know, the destroyer is constantly seeking to destroy and to to um, cancel what God is doing. And so I want everyone to understand that it, we are in a battle and ultimately it's about our soul and it doesn't matter what we experience within this earth and this natural body the focus has to be on the eternal body and you know um, sometimes because we are you know close to someone then sometimes we don't understand really what's going on with the heart only God knows the heart of a man and um you know, and so sometimes we may misunderstand something and not understand. So, um, you know, I'm praying that the Holy Spirit right now will go forth and touch everyone's heart and cause us all to look within and to understand that, you know what, my heart belongs to the Lord. But every moment, every second of my waking and even my sleeping hour, the enemy is looking to pull it away from its natural path, which is to go and seek God and to behold his face. Amen. Amen. That's exactly right. That's the most important thing. God could heal a person today. All right. And they don't make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Go on down the road and die 20 years later and end up in hell. It didn't benefit anybody. So the first important thing is, are you ready to meet Jesus? And then mm -hmm. you can deal with the healing situation. And that's true for anybody, whether you're sick or not. Are you ready to meet Jesus? Mm -hmm. Because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. We had a guy that came on the program this week. Um, his name is Nick DeMarco. He's head of Pierre Cardin International. And um, really amazing testimony. If, if you all are tuning in and haven't checked that one out, listen to it in the archives. But he gave an amazing testimony of how he was at the, the height of his career and, you know, had everything that he wanted. He thought, but he had an emptiness inside that he couldn't feel. 
and he was introduced to Jesus and he received the Lord Jesus and it changed his life but that wasn't the end of the story he ended up losing losing uh, some of his family members mm. he died one of his daughters died and tragic Jesus. but before she died she had a made she made a decision for Jesus and she'd been saved about seven weeks Jesus. It, it was a tragic accident but you know what she's in heaven and Jesus. he began to you know get hit by other things that would have devastated most people but God began to speak to him and let him know that it was going to be all right. And where he's at today is, he said, you know, literally, I've come to make the decision. You know, I've come to the the reality that you almost have to go to a graveyard <laughs> and make 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 life's decisions because you think it's all right and then you're dead, or something mm-hmm. something is taken away from you. He mm-hmm. said, we're not we're not guaranteed tomorrow. None of us. Yes. You know what we got, we need to thank God for. But life is like a vapor. Yeah. And uh, even in my own father's case, you know, he was running from the Lord. He, he was called to preach at age 16, um, began to preach, began to serve the Lord. But then he got tempted by mammon and he went down the wrong road and backslid. Mm-hmm. And then he developed cancer. And, you know, God God gave him a reprieve, but then he would go back to. You know, thank you, God. But then he had a short-term memory and forgot what God had done for him, and then went back and mm-hmm. get, began to, you know, pursue money again. And he died a wealthy man, but he couldn't take any of it with him, and um, he had cancer. Mm. And um, we prayed for him, and he wasn't healed. But on his deathbed, you know, in, in the last weeks, he recommitted his life to the Lord, and I believe he got as close as he was ever going to be, and the Lord took him. Out Jesus. of mercy. Now, I would like to have my father here. But I really believe that if the Lord had spared his life, okay, that he may have lost his soul. Mm. So God is merciful. And th- the point I'm making here is to gain the whole world and lose your soul. What did it profit you? You know, there's a, there's a lot of people praying for healing, but they need to look first is the person saved. Because, yes, God can heal. But what good will it do them to be healed if there's not salvation that goes along with it? And then ultimately they die and end up in hell. It's like, you know, there's patriots out there, you know, who are worried about the end times. And you you all did a great job on the last show coming against that spirit of fear. And there's a lot of people that, you know what, they're prepared in the flesh to survive Armageddon, they think. And they might Mm -hmm. extend their lives a few years from their preps, but they're not ready to meet Jesus. And what did it profit them to live another five years extra because of their beans and bullets and bullion, only to bust tail wide open? Mm-hmm. So the first order of business is, are we ready to meet Jesus? And we've got to take the, the attitude is, we don't know if we're going to be here tomorrow. We must settle that tonight. And then we need to, uh, we need to, um, we need to be patient, endure till the end, and those that endure the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. We can't take our eternal salvation for granted and think, well, just because I made a commitment to the Lord 10 years ago, it's all right with the Lord. Well, it may not be if you're in a backslidden state. If you're not walking with the Lord, there's now therefore no condemnation of those that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We have an obligation to stay with the Lord, amen, and, and develop relationship with him. Everything else is secondary, including your healing today. If you're not ready to meet Jesus. Because you can live to be 120 and then die and go to hell. And what did it profit you? Nothing. So that is first order business. I agree with you. And then that being settled, then you pray for his healing. And God can heal or God can promote them. You know, God God knows what lays ahead for each of us. In his mercy, sometimes he takes people out. That he gets them as close as they can, and then he takes them to heaven, knowing where they may be if they had more time down here. Because a lot of people, and I'm not calling anybody out by name other than just the case I just mentioned in my own family, a lot of people will be healed only to go back to thinking, you know, well, I've got, you know, I've got the rest of my life ahead of me. I'm going to go back to doing what I was doing before. And then the enemy lays a, an ambushment and takes them out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So, just saying. So I wanted to ask you both: Would you um, would you tell what tell a person tonight who may be tuning in and the Holy Spirit's drawing them and they're at that crossroads? Maybe they haven't made you know, a decision for Jesus, or they're in a backslidden state. They're just not really sure tonight where they would be. You know what? I think this is a Holy Ghost uh, move, if you will. I believe that uh, the Lord is using you, Brother Shannon, right now to to speak to someone specifically. And uh, today, the Spirit of God was showing me something similar. Today, and uh, you know, you know, the Lord is so. So beautiful. Sometimes he only speak, you know, he used different things to matter this, to speak to us. And today he was using a, a song, a Spanish song. And the Spanish song was talking about uh, a man and a woman, okay? And uh, it's a Christian song. But the, the woman had passed away. And this man, he was singing in the song, he was saying how much he misses her. How much he cared about her, how much he misses the, the, those little, tiny little moments that uh, were, that for most people were not important, you know. How much he joy enjoyed to be in her, you know, close to her. And uh, and the Lord was just speaking to me so strong about that. And then the the girl, she tells him she was in heaven in a, in a song. She tells him, you know, don't don't you worry. I don't want you crying about me. Everything's fine here, okay? This is a beautiful place, and I'm going to be waiting for you to come here, okay? I hope everything goes well for you. But this man was just so, he was, he didn't know that would have hurt that much, you know? He didn't know that that how difficult that would have been for him. And then, baby, this is a word for someone right now, you know, whoever that person is, maybe the Lord is about to call you back home, and you got to, you know, get your life straight, Maybe spend some time with a loved one. You know, I love to spend time with my family. I love to just, you know, even if I watch a movie or something, I love, I love to look at them. I love to smell them. You know, my kids, my wife. I like, I, I like when uh, one of my uh, friends or someone come over, I look at them and I, I just keep looking at them at their face and I try to enjoy their presence, you know. And they're, they're, this world... And the things in technology, all those things, they're, they're, they're stealing those things from us. And I believe that maybe it's time for us to step out of those things and then just seek the Lord, spend more time with Amen. the loved ones. You know, I believe there's not much time for us to, to be uh, playing games like that. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to no one, nobody. You're here today, tomorrow we're gone. Just like Brother Shannon mentioned in the scripture. And uh, if you're backslidden, if the Lord is calling you, please Please listen to the Lord. Listen to the Lord. Listen to His voice because He wants the best for you. And it is so good to serve Him. And sometimes it's discouraging. You know what I found? What is so discouraging for some believers to follow Jesus Christ? is because the majority of them, they, when they go to church, they sit down. And that's it. They listen to the message and that's it. Now, when you are walking according to your calling... The joy, the presence of God comes because you're walking. You're being used by the gift with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The joy of the Lord of the Lord comes, and it's so refreshing. It's so good. It's so addictive. You know, you want more and more and more and more of His presence. You know, maybe that's what you need. You need to seek more of the Lord. Seek more of His presence. Spend time worship with Him. You know, seek Him with all your heart. It is so beautiful. It's so good. Go do something with Him. You know, for Him. You know. Maybe maybe that's what the Lord is speaking tonight to some person. Amen. That's right. What does a person need to do to be saved? Believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, repent from your sins. Confess them to the Lord. You know, uh, there's this guy that came to me and he said, um, you know, I would have served the Lord, but I don't want to be, you know, like a, like a pastor or anything like that. You know, that you have to be 24-7 in church. And I say, no, my brother, you're wrong. You don't have to be a pastor. All you got to do is first, you give your life to the Lord, okay? And it's going to be a step-by-step -step thing, okay? The Lord is going to change you. He's going to remove some things from you as you allow Him to do it, you know? And then you're going to start a relationship with the Lord because it's all about a relationship. It's all about a relationship. 
And I believe we're going to talk about that probably next show, talk about relationship, you know. And as we, you grow in that relationship, it gets deeper and deeper, and then you start doing more things for the Father, you know. It's all about that. You know, you could be in a church all your life, and you're probably not safe if you don't have a, a relationship with the Lord, you know. Sister? Yes, I want to say they can make the first step. It is not the end. Yeah. Saying yes to the Lord tonight, confessing your sins and receiving His Holy Spirit to come inside is the beginning. Then the Holy Spirit begins to do a work on the inside. It's like cleaning house. It's like a house that was abandoned and then invaded by goats and chickens and, you know, and, you know, people come there in the middle of the night and sleep and whatever. Just, you know, it's just, is a mess. That's how we are when we come to the Lord. And what, you know, what happens is when we say yes, we expect all of a sudden, like abracadabra, the whole house is clean. No. It is a first step. He said, Jesus, come into my heart. Take me over. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I want you to come inside of me and dwell. To come inside of you and dwell in a, 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 a sinful body, you know, that is being used by the enemy. It means that there are some things that Lord, the Lord has to deal with that, that those acts have contaminated the spirit. And um, I want I want us all, I, I believe this is indeed of the Holy Spirit, so that we fully understand what the road to salvation is. It is not a microwave journey. Amen. It is a journey where we are giving ourselves to the Lord. And yeah. piece by piece by piece, we are yielding to Him. Some of us in, in, in you know, different areas of our lives, we've given 100%. You know, how many of us have gone through and you're walking and everything is great. But then all of a sudden, one day you receive a word from the Lord to tell you you have unforgiveness. You're like, uh, no, because the Bible says if you have unforgiveness, then the Lord hasn't, has, um, won't forgive you. And that after the Holy Spirit starts to minister to you, you realize that, you know what? There was something that you never thought of. You never even um, imagined, but the Holy Spirit has brought it forth because that's the God we serve. He goes through constantly. It says that he goes through and he searches the deep thoughts and the heart of man. Yes. Amen. And, you know, we are in the last days and we cannot do this. Um, how do you say this? uh Hollywood style of of um, Christianity, where it's just the glitz and the glamour, you know, the whitewashed tombs. We all look like we are doing it all, you know, and then we are finger pointing. Oh, that person that say, you know what? Being saved is a personal relationship between that person and God. Amen. The only way we can even make any assumption is the Bible says based on the fruit. Amen. Examine yes. the fruit. The fruit will tell us what's going on. But sometimes there are some things that we can't see. You can't see the unforgiveness. You can't see the panic attacks, what's going on. But that fruit is something that the Holy Spirit is seeing when all you're seeing is the love, the joy, and the peace. But then there's that unforgiveness. And, you know, we have to allow the Lord to, to, to do. Hallelujah. You know, Every message that the Lord gives me brings me to a point time and time again of salvation. Yes. I, it, is, it is a question I ask, Lord, search me. After every message, I go back and I listen to the message. And I allow the Holy Spirit to minister to me and to root things out. Every person that the Lord brings my way, that he allows me to minister, whether through prayer or deliverance, as the deliverance and prayer is going forth, it is also ministering to me, and I'm also being delivered. The other, um, the other day, there was um, a young lady, you know, that's from my country, Jamaica, and the Lord was, was um, showing, uh, ask her, have you used the Ouija board before? And she says, no, but you know what? I said, Holy Spirit just spoke. Have you played that game called by St. Peter, by St. Paul? 
And she's like, oh, we, we, we said, I said, me too. As a kid, it is, the, it is the very same way the Ouija board is played, where mm. you get the key and you swing, you have it between the Bible and you say, did, did John steal my money? Did this? It's the same way. It is a suppressed act, a suppressed memory within me. That is witchcraft and sorcery. Now someone may say, oh, you know what, evangelist, that will not cause you to, to uh, lose your salvation. Let me tell you something. No, 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 no. The moment that the Lord brought it to my attention, and if I ignore it, and I don't repent of it, it can cost me. Yeah. And so I'm just saying this. It is a constant walk. The Lord is peeling back years of abuse, years of defilement, years of impurity, years of blood that's been shed and washing and washing. You know, just like when you do the laundry, there are some stains. You got to wash it once, five, seven, bleach it. And you try different things to get it the way you want it to be same way is our walk constantly keeping our eyes on the cross looking to the lord okay lord speak with me that's why we need a communication communication is through the worship and it's also through our prayer but do you know it's also just sitting down and having a conversation with the lord and just saying lord how are you today and just being silent and let him speak you'll be amazed at things you see the things that you're discovering. I discovered what a wretch I was. And it brought me to tears. I still cry. That it almost cost me my daughter's life to bring me to Christ. Every time I think of it, I still tear up. Because a life was about to be sacrificed. For me to open my eyes. But love. Mm, the love of God. For his people. Causing, causes him time and time again. To reach down. To speak to us. So if you're listening out there today. And you're. You know this conversation. Has prick you in some way this is the time for a conversation with God what are you saying Lord because I want to walk I want to walk in a pathway that if you should call me tonight inside of my spirit my spirit will agree to say I'm going to see you not with a stubborn spirit because you know what there was a young lady that she said yes to the Lord and she got sick. She was dying. Her pastor went to visit her at the, at the hospital and he said to her, the Lord says, you must let go <laughs> of that unforgiveness. You must forgive those people. And she said, she was tubes all hooked up to her and she's struggling. And she looked at the pastor and she says, I can't. And she, rage came over her. And that very moment she said, I can't. Her body, her life left her and her, her body contorted in such a rage. That is how she died, with the rage on her face. Now this woman had accepted the Lord. Sometimes we don't know what another is struggling with. But God does. The Lord had revealed it to the pastor. And he went in to pay her a visit. And she died. Would you say she died a saved woman? 
Would you say she died forgiven? I'm saying this. It is time to walk out our salvation with fear. Fear God. It is time that we don't play the games anymore of Christianity and church. But to really be seeking God, be really seeking change. It's too long, my friends, my sisters, my brothers, that we've been seeking the benefits of God and withholding ourselves. We give him just a little part, just like that boyfriend we string along. You know, that one that always follows us around like a puppy dog. And so we say we love him. Go buy me this. Go buy me that. And he runs and he buys it. And we tell him how much we love him. And he's thinking that we really do love him. But it's a game. Let us not play that game with our Lord. Because he is God. And he has the power to take the breath. Yes, that breath you just received and taken in your lungs doesn't belong to us. It belongs to Him. So I invite you, invite us all tonight to just bow our heads. You know, and if you're able to, let us get down on our knees. We've even forgotten how to pray on our knees. We do it all standing up. Let us bow to our knees. Hallelujah. And just say, Lord, it's me. I don't want to just do for you. I want to serve you the way you deserve to be served. I don't want to say that I want to be your hands and feet. And my life doesn't reflect your hands and feet. I want, hallelujah. I want to walk, mighty God. As they walked of old. Elisha, when he died, the anointing was so strong in his body that when they tossed him into the grave of a dead man, that dead man came to life. Lord, that is what we seek, not just to have the power and get a name for ourselves. But the Lord to move in your power and lift up your name before men. So tonight, Lord, that light that's been going forth throughout this program tonight, will you take it, Lord? Search my mind, search my thoughts, search my heart. Lord, look on the hidden parts of me, the parts of me that I don't even know about because they've been hidden from me. And purge me, Lord. Cleanse me. And I give you the authority to occupy all of me, Lord. I want to be your eyes your ears, your hands, your feet. I want to be your lips. But Lord, I don't want to be a double agent. I want the world to know that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is real. Lord, is real that you are real. And I know the only way they can see that is through me. 
So, Lord, examine me tonight. I ask you to forgive me for those things that I know nothing about. Those things that I have even forgotten. I have suppressed them. The enemy has manipulated my memory bank and I've long forgotten them, Lord. Lord, that you will open up my memory bank and remove every evil marking. Let your blood flow and wash me, Jesus. I want to be a true servant of yours. I want my yea to mean yea. I'm not turning back. I don't want to turn back. There are too many hypocrites out there, Lord. But I don't want to be a hypocrite. So, Lord, I give you everything that is known about me. And I sit in the ashes as Job sat. Give you my character. I give you my integrity. I give you my identity. I give you everything that says me. Tonight, Lord, I want your identity. I want on my birth certificate to say, Child of the Most High God. Tonight, Lord, I need you to be real. I don't want to do things the way I think or the way others think. I want to know Without a shadow of a doubt, I want to know, want to know, want to know, want to know that as I lay my head on the pillow tonight, that if it is your will to require from me my life tonight, that I will joy in your presence to hear you say, enter now into my rest. Lord, none of us want to wake up like the witch men did, tormented in hell. We don't want to live a lie. We don't want to be a lie. We want to live truth and to be truth, your truth, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. We'll get this up in the archive if you're coming in late so you can listen to it tomorrow. And um, Pastor Raphael, anything you'd like to add before we close tonight? No, I just want to say that it was a blessing to be here tonight. And I just want to thank our Lord Jesus Christ for what he's doing, for the life that he touched tonight. One soul tonight got touched mighty by the Lord, and I know it's going to be a blessing. I know she's going to be different tonight. Clau, if you still listen there, God bless you. Thank you so much for calling in tonight. And Jesus, right now, we just glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because there is power in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the sacrifice that you did for us, oh God. You're so awesome, Lord. We, we so love you, God. You're so beautiful. Thank you, Father, for everything, Lord, all the goodness, all the provision, oh God. We have so much things, oh Lord, that sometimes we don't even, uh, we don't see it. You have give, you have blessed, blessed us, Lord, so much, so much with so many things, oh God. I just want to give you all, all the honor and the glory tonight. Thank you so much, Father. I love you. Amen. 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 Father God, Thank I ask you, that you would bless Lena and Raphael, bless their families, bless their ministries. Expand their territories, Lord God. Give them every resource that they need. In Jesus' name, bless everyone that's tuned in tonight. Yes. Cover everyone in the blood of Jesus. Lord God, touch people tonight. Please. Meet their needs, we ask. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Put your hedge of protection around us all. Yes. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lena, Raphael, Amen. love you both. 
it's an honor to work with you all. Two great warriors for Jesus. And you're welcome here anytime. Looking forward to your next program, in fact. Praise, Praise the God. Lord. <laughs> Thank you so much. You all have a great weekend. Get some sleep over there. God bless you both. <laughs> well, i got to wake up early. <laughs> Thank you for staying in with us tonight, everybody. God bless you for tuning in this evening. And I uh, hope you all have a great weekend. Don't forget Pastor Peter Torres has Church Without Walls on Sunday at uh, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 Eastern. I want to encourage you to check that out. And I want to thank everybody for, um, for tuning in this week. Love and appreciate all of you. Let's see. Just I want to thank uh, Sister Juliet for uh, connecting us with those prayer requests. Pat Abraham, Anna, Dave, C.S. Reed, Raphael, Maria, Prophetess Chris, The Soul Man, Italo Marti, Debbie, Lou Elia, Shadow 50, Sister Jan, Rachel, Suzette, Bao, Maximo, Jennifer, Steve, that are still with us, and others that tuned in earlier. You'll get some rest out there and love you all. And um, thank you for tuning into these programs. If you want to contact me, you can add me as a friend up on Facebook, Shannon Ray Davis with the number one after it. Or you can email me at omegamanradio at yahoo.com. Once again, love all y'all. Thank you for making this program possible and for turning it out. And we'll see you next time. Good night. Omega Man Radio has been commissioned to invade deep into enemy territory, drive out the hosts of hell, and take back the land. Our mission is to preach Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is the only name written under heaven by which men might be saved, cast out demons, and pray for the sick that they may be healed in Jesus' name. If this program is a blessing to you and you would like to take part in this harvest of souls, join with us and attack the hosts of hell by donating any amount online at www.omegamanradio.com. You may also donate by sending check or money order to 9030 West Sahara Avenue, Suite 665, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89117. We thank you.